Hello, this is Mark Hamlin, and I'd like to welcome you back to Cryptocurrency Academy. We're really excited to share this information with you, this being our final session. Get your pen and your paper out to take notes. This is information that you're definitely going to want to remember. All right, great. So let's talk about initial coin offerings. I did promise that we were going to discuss those before we concluded this session. An ICO is an initial coin offering. So the first thing you need to understand are the differences between an initial coin offering and an IPO. An IPO is a company that's currently in existence that wants to raise money through the stock exchange. This is a company that has a history of profits. When you participate in that by buying a share in stocks within that particular company, you participate in the growth of the company. Well, an ICO in many cases are different. An ICO is a company that's raising money. It's often called a crowd sale. So they're raising money, almost like crowdfunding. In many cases, their concept is not proven yet. You become like a donator within that particular platform. Totally different, definitely more risky. Because although these companies are startups, you have to understand that sometimes a startup does not get up. It's very different. When getting involved in the ICO, it's very important that you do a lot of due diligence. So one of the websites that I use is called ICO Countdowns, icocountdowns.com. They do a certain amount of due diligence. Of course, you always should do your own. But several things you want to know. You want to learn as much as you can about the developers of the ICO. You want to read their white paper where they explain exactly what they're going to do. Now, many times these white papers are very technical. So you have to kind of read between the lines. You're also going to go to the forums to see what people are saying about this particular ICO. Many times these ICOs are going to have their own websites. ICOs are generally, you have a group of enthusiastic supporters that are going to provide the funding for this ICO. And when they do that, oftentimes at the beginning of the ICO, if you're one of the first adopters, you will get more coins than someone who comes in later. That's one of the perks of being involved at the very beginning. Most important thing you want to understand, ladies and gentlemen, you need to do your due diligence when it comes to getting involved in an ICO. Now, the other thing, there is new regulations in the United States concerning ICOs, and many of these ICOs you and I cannot participate in. There was one recently I wanted to get involved in only to find out that they didn't do business with anyone from the United States because of the U.S. regulations. The U.S. Regu regulations are there to protect us against fraud and against loss. That's the understanding, and that's what, what we are being told. That's another thing you're going to have to deal with. You're going to need to find out whether or not, as a U.S. citizen, if you happen to live in the United States, whether or not you can participate in that ICO. You want to check that out before you really get, get involved in it. Now, once these ICOs go live, in many cases, they will show up in the exchanges. So you can look for them in the exchange, and you can participate with them at that time. ICOs are generally funded through Ethereum. And we've talked a little bit earlier about Ethereum being the smart contract. You can write certain things within the contract of the coin, which is really great. Uh, the many uses for a smart contract haven't even been developed or invented yet, so that they have a huge future uh, moving forward. ICOs are great, ladies and gentlemen. You definitely want to uh, look into those. At the same time, you want to be cautious. You want to make sure that you do your due diligence. ICOs are interesting because they can literally create tremendous amounts of wealth for the people who get involved in them. But then you need a little bit of skill. You need a lot of information. And sometimes you even need some luck to choose a really good one. But a great concept, an opportunity for the average person to be involved in the startup of a company from the very beginning and that is huge for the middle class all around the world so you definitely want to look into them also if you want a fundamental or a deeper a definition of what an ICO is you can go to Investopedia and you can google it and all the details will be right there for you so ladies and gentlemen in conclusion you've got all the information you need to do something amazing in your family Start applying the education that you've been using and that you've learned and make it happen for yourself. 
right now, today. Thank you for joining us. Bye for now. Thank you.